The most heroic of failures. The season may have brought 97 points and just one league defeat, but it doesn't bring the league title. Anfield's agonising wait for the title will go into a 30th year. The third best season in Premier League history, and yet it came to nothing. It's a thread that now runs through three decades for a prize that remains as elusive as ever. Yet Jurgen Klopp's men are tantalisingly close to ending their long wait for England's top honour. To do 97 points, which would have won the league 116 times in the previous 120 years, uh, and not win the league, must be hugely dispiriting at least. But it shows that you know 97 points is achievable, and you know can City repeat it as well. So that's something for them to build on. Klopp's already said he wants to improve. They need to improve on last year. So he's looking internally at a young, settled, balanced squad to lift its game even higher. People talk about us like the, the logical, constant contender now for Man City, but neither know is, is, is for sure. But you know, that City plays again a season like last year, or would let me do it, that it doesn't work without the hardest work, the, the biggest focus, the highest concentration level. We know that, and that's what we are working on. May wasn't just a month of near misses. Warranted success swiftly followed as Liverpool defeated Tottenham to become the champions of Europe for the sixth time. It also marked the first piece of silverware of Klopp's tenure at Anfield, having fallen short in three previous cup finals. When Liverpool won the, the Champions League last season, the, the, the pressure was certainly on. Um, if they hadn't, then you know, everybody would have talked about this amazing football that they've played for, for so long now, but you never won anything. So I think to finally, you know, get a piece of silverware after quite a few years, it was a huge monkey off Jurgen Klopp's back, I guess. For him as well, it was a huge moment to see the reaction in the city when he came back. You know, talking about three quarters of a million people lined the streets of Liverpool when they came back. He's now an Anfield legend. He will be talked about in the same terms as Benitez, Fagan and Paisley in, in terms of what he has done on the European stage. But of course now that probably adds to the motivation to certainly join Paisley and Fagan and Shankly and Daglish in terms of winning the league title and being the man to bring it back to Anfield after 30 years. In his quest to join such esteemed company, Klopp is trusting his current comrades. Youngsters Harvey Elliott and Sepp van den Berg have arrived, but the Reds will be hoping the returns of the progressive Rianne Brewster, Adam Lallana and most notably Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain will offer that crucial extra ingredient. I think Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain gives Liverpool something a bit different. He can run with the ball, he doesn't mind shooting from distance. He's had a problem before. He's a different type of midfielder to, to what they've got. But he'll have to come back right at the top level. This is the European champions um, that he's trying to get back into the team of. He needs to find his level again, and he needs to, to, uh, to find a, probably a level that he's never found before. Because if he's at the level that he was before, I'm not sure he gets into the start in 11 as, as things stand. We've got a great squad, you know, and we we'll want to just compete again, give everything, take each game as it comes, like we always do. Um, and keep performing to the highest level every time we play. We've got to keep wanting more, um, yeah, keep writing our own history, really. This team can, can achieve so much, but it's down to us to, to give everything, put in the hard work. A major trophy in the cabinet, but a Premier League title will define whether this is a truly golden generation. It's a city ready for their stars to align. It's 30 years since Liverpool won the, won the Premier League. It's absolutely ridiculous people of our generation. I mean, for a club of Liverpool's stature, resources, to have not won it for 30 years when so many others have, I think, eats away at you. And that's why I think it's the priority. Well, Liverpool can win the Premier League, no question about that. They've, they've not weakened their side in any way. If, if anything, they're a little bit more confident after last season. You know, the smart money, I guess, is, is to say Manchester City will retain the crown, but if there's anyone that's going to nick it off them, it will be Liverpool.